I've been competing now 15 years, but I've been lifting my entire life. I remember as a kid in grammar school, sneaking into my dad's office, attempting to lift his dumbbells every, you know, every day until I eventually got caught with my parents. You know, fast forward a couple of years, um, now I'm in middle school, my parents decided to buy me my own weight set, you know, so they, they found they found that I had an interest for working out and lifting at an early age, and they figured, hey, why not? So they ended up buying my own weight set, and then once I got into high school, it was all over from there. Uh, that's when the, the passion and the bug really bit at that point in time, I uh, realized that my high school had a gym. So during gym class, I was in the weight room, and right after school, I was right back in the weight room, man. You couldn't keep me out of the weight room, man. I, I, I was close to what I was doing, but I was enjoying just going in there and moving weight around, throwing weight around, getting stronger. Um, and again, at this point in time, I had no idea what bodybuilding was. I just love lifting weights. Felt like I was getting stronger. I was noticing my arms were getting bigger. You know, you're a guy in high school, you want to impress the girls. So you're going in there to try to get big arms, big chest. Um, so that was the goal then. Um, once I got into college and really started getting into the bodybuilding aspect, um, that's kind of when I really took emphasis into um, prior prioritizing. So at that point in time, I was training one body part per, per, per day. So I have an arm day, a back day, chest day, leg day, shoulder day. And my philosophy has always been from day one, hard, heavy, intense. I like to go into the gym, lift as much heavy weight as I possibly can, move it as many times as I possibly can until I can't move it anymore. And that's what work, works best for my body. Um, everyone's got their own way of training, what works best for me. Again, just going in there and really annihilating the muscle, beating myself up. And, and when I leave, I want to I feel like I got run over by a truck. That's when I know I really work and put the work in. Um, you know, once my career really took off and I started to kind of really build my base up a couple of years down the road, that's when I started to prioritize more uh, on particular body parts that were lagging. Um, you look at your body, you look, you talk to your coaches, you look at pictures, talk to the judges, get feedback. You know, tell you, hey, you need to bring up your chest, you need to bring up your back. And for me, those are the two areas that need that really needed to come up. Um, so the past three years now, I've been training my chest and my back twice a week, twice per week. Um, just to give you my split from last year's Olympia prep, Monday prep, Monday I was training back and biceps, Tuesdays chest, shoulders, triceps, Wednesday I was doing uh, quads and hamstrings, Thursday I was repeating my Monday workout which is back and biceps, Friday I was doing chest, triceps and shoulders again, and then Saturday I was back in the gym again training hamstrings and glutes, and then Sunday would be my only rest day, so I was training six days per week. And to someone looking at it, you say, that's a lot of, that's a lot of volume. You know, how do you recover? Again, I've been doing this pretty much my entire life, lifting. I was used to that. But not only that, I was really taking care of my body the past couple of years, getting deep tissue work, getting grasping, getting cupping, getting stretching. So all these little things have enabled me to continue to train heavy, train hard, and progress every single year. Um, so now fast forwarding into the 2020 Olympia coming up, my goal is to go back to the same split that was on last year, six days per week. And again, prioritizing both my chest and my back. Those are two areas that have come up, you know, significantly over the past couple of years. But again, they're not to where I'm happy, you know, and as, and as good as I possibly was last year. Again, it wasn't good enough. I don't have the title. Someone else does. So this year is a focus again, coming in bigger, better, better, improved and walking away with the 2020 title this year.